You too. Uh, what's good with y'all? Um, so this is probably gonna turn into like a rant video. You know, y'all know me. If you follow the channel, you kind of know me. I'll go off quick. So let me just take y'all through the whole story or whatever, whatever going on. Right. So last year I was with Lyft, uh, Lyft Express. Um, that's the rental program for Lyft, if you didn't know. And uh, I was a, I was an amazing fucking driver, right? Uh, but I'm gonna leave this damn shit right here. Boom, right? So, uh, over 3,000 rides, um, you know, 5.0 rating, all that, all that there. But last year, like I said, I went to Lyft Express thing, so they 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 keep renewing cars, they give you different cars if you want a different car when you renew and all that stuff like that. Though. But um, I got hit by a deal. Like as funny as that may sound, I literally got hit by a deal. Like, I was literally coming around the corner. I even had a passenger. Showed in the back was that was with me, uh, the passenger, or whatever. She uh, you know, she down looking at her phone, or whatever. It's a chill ride too. And mind you, like I'm gonna tell y'all the whole story, like. At that time, I I was planning to, I think I was planning to go to, uh, go somewhere. I think I was planning to go to Florida or somewhere like that. Just just driving down there, just just because I fucking felt like it, right? So I was happy that day. Like the next day, I was gonna do that. So, um, you know, I'm happy about all that and all that like that. Though. And uh, next day I know I'm coming around the curb on a on a highway. Coming around the curb on the highway. All I know is all I saw was eyes and boom, smack the car. I'm about to leave those pictures right here. Boom. Take a minute to look at that. Take a little minute. Right. So, uh, nothing, nothing happened to like, uh, the shorty didn't get hurt. Won't nobody injured. Won't nothing, nothing, nothing like that. I could actually drive the car and all that stuff still. And, uh, so I took the thing, you know, I called everything. I called, uh, um, Jeremy, my the guy over top of uh, the manager at the Hertz thing, or whatever, and uh, he was like, "Cool." Like he was like, "Uh, you know, you all right? All that stuff like that." There, yeah. like, yeah, I was like, "Yeah." Um, and so he just gave me another call, like just got me another call. So I'm thinking to myself, "All right, things cool, right? Everything cool." Uh, I got a, I started getting phone calls from Hertz, and it was like, um, you know, you owe a thousand dollars, and I'm like thousand dollars now get me get me like i don't i don't know much about insurance and all that shit like that i ain't never owned my own car still have never owned my own car right so i don't know nothing about insurance and all that shit from what i understand they pay for whatever uh thing happens to a certain extent or whatever and um Either way, I, I like I said, I, I don't know. I, I can't help you with that. If you got on this video for me to help you with that, I can't help you with that. I, don't, I still don't know what the fuck going on. But all I know is I owe $1,000, right? So now imagine this is like last year. This is last year to this date. From this date. This is last year. Um, And today is Wednesday, August 5th, 2020. This was last year sometime. Um, Had it been before December, right? So... After that, I hear nothing about it. I done went through four calls with Hertz. Four calls, right? So they called me in. And all this happened like last week, right? So um, from this date that you see in this video, this happened last week, right? And um, so I kept, so I, I kept uh getting calls from Lyft again, or not Lyft, uh, Hertz. Again, imagine, I want you to take from this video, I'm not talking about Lyft. I'm only talking about Lyft because it's attached to Hertz. That's, I'm not talking about Lyft as a company in this. I'm not ranting about Lyft as a company in this. That's going to be in the next video. But um, I'm only telling you about Hertz and how this insurance shit working, right? And why I'm not working for them. I'm um, not with them no more, right? So, um, so yeah, I kept getting... Uh, calls and whatever and then uh uh jeremy duke duke from um the hertz place he, he kept telling me come in he was like he can't renew my thing for some reason i mind you jeremy cool dude if he ever see this video i hands down he helped me get to this position i'm about to tell y'all about coming up 
But um, he kept he was like, man, I don't know what's going on. So he looked it up and all that stuff. And uh, I had a God, I forgot the name of it now. Man, I, I I'm so sorry, y'all. If y'all, I'm sorry, I can't remember the name of that thing. But anyway, um, he, he basically he told me that uh I had a a, a real life violation because. You know, I'd be driving. <laughs> and um, uh, I had a real life violation and toll tickets, right? They had to be paid off. So I paid all that off. That one, that was like $46, 36 somewhere in there. You know, whatever. Paid that. Cool. Bam. So still, he's like, I can't renew your car for some reason. And he trying to talk to the people. Uh, well, he trying to type to people or whatever. And they ain't, you know, they ain't giving them nothing. So... This happened. This goes on for three days. Now, imagine I could still drive. I could still drive and all that, um, for for Lyft and all that. But um, it, it was just a thing. Like it was coming to a point where I got to renew. Like I had to renew then, but he was holding off to see what was going on, whatever, right? And uh, so about they and Matt, they t they gave me this eight hundred number. If you would Lyft and you would hurt, I, I not I don't know about it. It's just with lift with hurts but if you it hurts in any type of way if they ever give you this number a 1-800 number to call because of tolls or some shit like that just know you're gonna be on hold for hours hours my nigga i swear it, my nigga i swear to god i was on that phone for a whole fucking hour and they will hang up on you like they will literally fucking hang up on you i did this shit three days in a row the third day i literally called them three times so I've been on the phone on I've been on hold for six hours of my life just to get hung up on. Right? So whatever with all that, right? So that day I finally I went in again and he was like, man, he was like, let me call my boss and talk to somebody or somebody. So come to find out, it came back to that deal thing. And I'm like, Jeremy, bro, I told you, like, I don't know why they charging me. The dead hit me. I get that might sound crazy. The more I say it, the more it sounds crazy. But that's exactly what the fuck happened. I didn't intentionally run into this deal. If that were the case, the front would have been fucked up. Y'all saw the pictures. The side was fucked. He came and side swiped me, bro. I ain't like, what the fuck, right? But I owe a thousand. I was like, Jeremy, but I can't pay that thousand dollars, nigga. Y'all don't pay me that fucking much. Not y'all, but well, not hurts, but. Lyft don't pay me like that. Like, what the fuck, bro? I, especially with this. Now, especially with this Hertz thing. This is what I was explaining to y'all, I think, in the last video. Like, you got to pay 260 for this bitch here. Like, I can make 1000 in a week. But I'm going to have to still pay 260 plus my gas and all that. So, it's, it's taken back. And I got bills, nigga. So, so what the fuck? And I got to eat. I got things I got to do, right? So, I can't come up with $1,000 like that to pay for a car that I don't feel like I was in the wrong for. But, whatever, right? Cool. So, Jeremy, like, man, I was breaking down, my nigga. I'm, I'm telling y'all right now, to everybody watch me and all that, I was breaking the fuck down. I'm like, yo, this is my only source, not my only source, but it's my major source of income. So, um, for right now, for right now, that shit about to change real soon. But, um, anyway, so, Man, I was like, bro, I don't know what the fuck I'm about to do. I imagine you, I live an hour away from the Hertz place. So I ain't had no ride back. I ain't had no money to give to a uh to pay for another Lyft or Uber. Now I'ma start talking about Uber. You about to find out why. But um, but yeah, so I ain't had no money to pay for all that there. Luckily, um Duke, uh Greg Greg, Duke, Duke that worked there too. Um luckily they, you know, they they Jeremy, first of all, Jeremy came back and told me Avis is doing Uber now. Because this wasn't a thing. Now, mind you, in Raleigh, North Carolina, this wasn't a thing. Right? It wasn't a, a thing for Uber out here, out here at all. Right? Won't no rental program. That's why I won't with Uber in the first place. So, um, yeah, so he Jeremy came out, he was like, bro, they just like last week got a thing for um uh uh Avis got a rental service for Uber now. So I called them while we woo and uh all that worked out. All that worked out great. Um I'm in so now I'm in a, a and like I said, Duke took me back to my cousin's house. It was he didn't take me the hour to my house. 
to, to my cousin house and all that. Ooh, ooh. So they 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 were cool people. Like, shout out shouts to Hertz and Riley. They they cool people. Um, for what it's worth, they are they cool people. Um, but uh, Hertz is a company. Yeah, shit went to my collections, bro. That shit is on my debt now. Like, bro, I, and I explained to them, like, nigga, like, I'm, I can't, what? This did make the deal pay for it. What the fuck? Oh, we can't make the deal pay for it. First of all, he dead. Second of all, somebody ate him. I literally, like, literally, I'm going off in a tangent. I literally seen a guy drag the damn deer carcass with the cop. Back there, I sent the cop back there to see what the fuck, you know what I'm saying? Like, to show, like, listen, that deer right there hit me. Goddamn, goddamn. Like, and this is real life. It sounds funny now, but I literally said, yo, this deer right there, back there, laying in the middle of the road, hit me in the middle of the highway. The next thing I know, I see some dupe um, dragging him, and then the cop helping him put it in. The cop literally put his fucking gloves on and held him. I said, man, you just, when he came back, I was like, bro, that was my evidence. Fuck you, dude. Anyway, whatever, bro. Um, Black Lives Matter, all that. But um, but uh, yeah. So basically, so yeah. Now I'm with Avis, uh, and I'm with Uber, uh, and like I said, maybe in the next video I'll explain the difference in uh, Av Avis and Hertz, or or more so explain the difference in. Uber and uh, Lyft because like I said this is my first week with Uber um, I ain't even had a full week yet Friday will be my full week so um, and today is uh, today Wednesday so yeah um, but yeah I, I just wanted to, I, I, know, I don't know how much this is going to help somebody in a situation Like, but if you ever find yourself in a situation where uh, they keep telling you about Whatever you might have to pay for damages or whatever, which they tell you in the beginning that they pay for damages up to a certain point. I really don't feel like it might have been. It's, it, people out there watch this video, you might be a car mechanic, you might know a car mechanic, you might be savvy of this car stuff and insurance stuff and all that like that and damages to a car. So you might know more about me. I might just be renting for nothing. But this is what happened. Like, I'm not with Lyft. I'm still, and mind you, like I said, it's not too. Lift. I'm still, I still can drive Lift. I just can't do Hertz. So, in my opinion, right now, fuck Hertz. Fuck Hertz to the max. And I like Avis right now, for right now, but that's a whole, whole other story. I, fuck Hertz. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. But, uh, that, um, so, like I said, Lift ain't a bad thing. I still will say, Lift ain't a bad, uh, a bad rash share service. Matter of fact, it, like I said in a later video, it's it's a, a lot of differences in these apps or whatever. Um, there's some things I like about Lyft app way more, and there's certain things about Uber app I like a little more for right now because I just thought it, whatever. But um, but yeah, I just wanted to hop up in and tell y'all all that there. Uh, so no more Lyft. I still put the Lyft on um, uh, thing if you want to sign up for Lyft or whatever. Cause Lyft ain't bad. And uh, like I said, I, I explain that later. But if you want to sign up for Uber, I'm gonna leave that link in the description and all that there too, and all that. But D-Day, uh, Mayday.